ஓம் ஸ்ரீ கணேஷாய நமகா ஓம் ஸ்ரீ குரு லைஃப் இஸ் ஃபுல் ஆஃப் லேர்னிங் வி லேர்ன் ஃப்ரம் இச் அதர் அண்ட் ஐ லேர்ன் அ லாட் ஃப்ரம் மை லைஃப் ஐ டோன் ரியலைஸ் தட் ஓவர் அ பீரியட் ஆஃப் டைம் பீப்புள் ஆர் சஃபரிங் நாட் ஓன்லி பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் தர் கர்மா பட் ஆல்சோ பிகாஸ் ஆஃப் மெனி மெனி அதர் ஆஸ்பெக்ட்ஸ் விச் தே ஹாவ் இக்னோர்ட் இன் தேர் லைஃப் ஒன் சச் வெரி குரூஷியல் வெரி இம்பார்ட்டன்ட் ஆஸ்பெக்ட் விச் மெனி ஆஃப் அஸ் இக்னோர் is the Kuladevata. Kuladevata or the family deity is a very very important aspect of your spiritual side, your, your financial side, your health side, your family side, your, each and every side you can think of. It's not that uh, you, know, you need to do many things to appease. What do we do generally? We generally try to hunt for answers. we generally try to look for solutions to our problems and many, many things we just want our problem to be resolved we don't understand why is this problem first of all created why am i suffering is there anything that i have done or i have not done which is causing this issue that is something we need to think of kula devata or the family deity is the most important for all of us our kula devata whom our ancestors have worshiped for a very very long time suddenly if the link is delinked and uh, you know we have just stopped worshiping kula devata and we just want to solve our problems if you are very ardent with your kula devata say every year yearly once you go to the family deity's temple every day you worship how do you worship just pray light a uh, earthen lamp if possible or any, any lamp every single day you light a lamp for your kula devata and uh, often you offer nevedya to your kula devata whatever you can make and offer and whatever more than whatever you can make whatever your kula devata likes you need to understand your kula devata see it's like we all understand our parents we understand our children we understand our spouses we understand our friends we know everybody's preference but we don't make an effort to understand what is the preference of my kula devata have you read any charitras relating to have you interacted with your uh, elders to see to understand how they were worshiping the kula devata now this is the effort we all need to make absolutely no compromise on that once we do that and we are constantly connected assuming that you get into some kind of a problem or a hitch and you need a solution instead of human minds telling you do this do that the kula devata will guide you through the human agency as to what you should do and then you go to temple a temple b temple c your work will be done right now what is happening you are going to different temples and still your work is stuck you don't know where to go you don't know what else to do seek the blessings try to find out i've had uh, clients who who don't know their kula devata for so long they are 50 years 60 years plus in age the entire 60 years of their life entire 50 years of their life or even if they are 20 i would say entire 20 years of their life they have spent without even making an attempt to know who the kula devata is without knowing the importance of kula devata and suffering because of that so the moment you start any big project or anything like you know you pray to kula devata and start you see how beautiful it's going to be he he or she kula devi or kula devata will make it happen for you will guide you at the right time through the right people and you will start experiencing good results you may have your ishta devata and your ishta devata and your kula devata may not be the same that is okay you cannot change your kula devata you have to pray to that form of divinity it's like whether you like it or not these are your parents so you know you have to uh, it's uh, you can't change it they are your parents period so it's like that kula devu whoever is the kula devata they are your kula devata you, you can't change them but you have to you have certain obligations which you need to fulfill towards them you have certain uh, you know you are not just obligated it's your you need to do certain things the runa that you need to fulfill the runa we say the obligation karmic obligation when you fulfill that a lot of your issues will automatically get resolved and for certain things your kula devata will redirect you to another form of divinity you can have as many ishta devatas you, you like but you need to have one dedicated approach towards a kula devata 
So if you don't know who your Kuladeva is, after watching this video, please sincerely try to make an effort to find out who it is. There are many ways of getting hints on who your Kuladeva is. One is of course, uh, you know, you talk to somebody who is clairvoyant or intuitive, they will be able to guide you. Through the Jataka, Prashna Jataka, you can find out who your Kuladevata is. There again, you can find out if it's a, a female energy, feminine energy or a masculine energy. And uh, you can also find out if you have the Kuladevata sharp, okay, curse of the Kuladevata based on your chart, why you are suffering and things like that. So always you know, you want to get your children married, first thing is you pray to your Kula Devata and then you say, we want, you start interacting with your Kula Devata basically, tell your Kula Devata, uh, you know, I want to make this next move, I want to get my daughter married, so please help me fi find the right match for him, for her. Or if you want to uh, take up a higher education, you want to go abroad, pray to your Kula Devata and say, I want to do this. This is what I want to pursue as my higher education. Please guide me into the right university. Like this, there are many ways you can approach a Kula Devata. For each and everything if you do, then automatically your work gets smooth. So find out. If you don't know, first the best thing to do is always uh, talk to your elders in the family. Talk to your uncles, talk to your aunts, talk to your parents. Find out what they, uh, they were doing, what your grandparents were doing, great grandparents were doing and try to do the same thing. Offer Neve, they are light uh, lamps every single day, at least once a day. And start talking to your Kula Devata. You will hear your Kula Devata talk back to you through people, through situations, through dreams. And it's very easy to appease them. You know, you just go and, you know, seek forgiveness, they will forgive you for not, for ignoring them for so long, for not being uh, attentive towards their presence in your life, not being aware of their presence in your life, how important their contribution is for your growth. Please make an effort, like I said earlier, uh, to find out who it is and start doing it right away. And if you still don't know, if your ancestors don't know and you just can't go for health reasons, you are not able to go and, uh, you know, go and visit the Kula Devata, at least send some small donation or in the name of your Kula Devata, give it to the poor. Try to get a photo at least and start some disciplined uh, approach towards the Kula Devata. Like, you know, some ritual uh, like lighting a lamp, offering flowers, giving maybe there. All of this you can do for your Kula Devata in a very, very systematic way. Simple things, very effective. It can move mountains. Your Kula Devata can make anything work for you. So, uh, it's like you go to a chief minister directly, though he will not entertain you. But if you go to a chief minister or a prime minister with a recommendation letter, then it carries a lot of weight. So you need that recommendation letter of your Kula Devata for every activity that you do. And that is something that you can't just get a recommendation letter overnight, right? You need to build a relationship, you need to be cordial, you need to have a rapport. And that is something that you, if you have missed, you need to do. And if you are already following it, fantastic. So uh, take care and pray to your Kula Devata. And uh, if you feel that there are uh, conflicts and there are multiple Kula Devatas, that is also possible. I have spoken to a few Nadi experts who are my friends and they have also kind of, uh, you know, concluded over years of experience and uh, reading Nadi and things like that, that you know, you can, a person or a family can have multiple Kula Devatas, like somebody from the mother's side, another form of divinity from father's side, um, you know, don't take it into conflict, pray to both. So, whomever your ancestors believed as Shikula Devata, they are Shikula Devata. So, this was the conclusion after this discussion. Just before this video, in fact, I did have a discussion with a few of my friends and uh, Nadi experts. And uh, the, the common conclusion is that it's paramount that you have to touch base with Shikula Devata. It's paramount. And uh, remain connected to Shikula Devata. How you do it? You will have to start from finding out who it is, if you don't know. And once you find out who it is, it's very easy. Then automatically, uh, half the battle is won. All you need to do is align your activities to them, uh, direct all your energy, spiritual energies towards them, devotion towards them, mentally. Just include them in your uh, spiritual plan. Thank you so much. I really hope you get to know who your Kula Devata is and you start, your, uh, you know, you start connecting with them very soon. Thank you and
गॉड ब्लेस नमस्कार